Lunches of Lunches, Mystery Edition. This week we're having mystery lunches. Using our mystery wheel. Go, 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 The mystery wheel decides our lunch. So stay tuned. But before we get started, hit that web subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. The winners of the giveaway are Leslie and Gabrielle. We hope you like your toys. Lily's gonna spin first. Who's gonna decide Monday's lunch? Go, Lily. <laughs> Me! Mackenzie! Yes! Yes! Okay. The mystery wheel chose Mackenzie. So for her lunch today, she started with a chopped salad. This is a barbecue ranch one. It has tortilla chips in there and bacon bits and a barbecue ranch dressing. It's really tasty. To go along with that, she also chose a ham and cheese sandwich. And I'm gonna make it my special way. This is kind of like a cross between a grilled cheese sandwich and a hamburger. I like to pop these guys in the oven until they are warm and toasty and the cheese is all nice and melted. It is really simple yet super tasty. Now I'm thinking a whole sandwich will be too much for Lily, so she's probably gonna end up sharing with Griffin. Mackenzie also requested some yogurt in today's lunch. The kids have never tried the whipped style yogurt before. It's a lot lighter, almost like a mousse consistency, so hopefully they'll like it. For our fruit today, Mackenzie requested apples. So I'm gonna slice these nice and thin, but whenever you're using one of these mandolin cutters, please be careful. They are super sharp and kinda dangerous. And for the drink today, we're keeping it simple and we're just gonna have some water. These ham and cheese melts were a big hit. All the kids enjoyed them. They weren't really into the barbecue chopped salad and Lily was not a fan of the whipped yogurt, which I was really surprised about. Mackenzie picked the lunch today and she also picked the activity. She really wanted to make some of this special slime for her brother and sister. I told her that was fine with me as long as she changed out of her new dress. Today for our activity, I'm making slime. These kits were sent to us to review and I'm going to make cookies and cream slime. This kit has everything you need, even instructions. Now let's get started. First, we're gonna dissolve our borax. Next, we're gonna add all our glue and the Oreo scent. Now I'm gonna add the borax water and stir it until the slime comes together. Now we're gonna add in our clay. Next, we add the glitter. Now we're gonna mix it up. That cookies and cream slime turned out great. It smells like cookies and it looks like there's little bits of cookies. Do you like making slime? Let me know in the comments down below. I can't wait to try out the unicorn slime kit. I'll put a link in the description for these kits if you're interested. It's Kenzie's turn now. Jack! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I get to make the lunch! The mystery wheel chose Jackson, and Jackson chose PB&J, but I was still out of regular sandwich bread. I tried making PB&J on some hamburger buns instead, but I used a new kind of jam. This is the whole blueberry jam, and I have to say Jackson unfortunately was not a huge fan of it. So next time I would stick to his favorite, strawberry. To go along with this, he also chose some cucumbers, and to make it really fun, I used my flour cookie cutter to take the skins off of the cucumbers. And then I added a couple to each pick. I also added some mozzarella and some mini salami pieces to some pigs as well. And I made sure to give the kids a little bit of ranch to dip their cucumbers in. To this I'm going to add one tangerine and one applesauce cup to each plate. And for a fun surprise, I added my googly eye picks to the sandwiches. The kids ended up liking everything minus the blueberry jam. They weren't really big fans of that. Monster. 
Jackson also got to pick the activity for the day, and he chose to play this new game called Chow Crown. We had never played it before, and the object of the game is to wear the crown, and as the forks go flying around your head, you're trying to eat the food off of the forks. It's actually pretty challenging, but it's really funny to watch. Lily was especially good at this game. Kenzie, you tried really hard too. Let us know in the comments down below if you've ever played this funny game. So they decided. Quesadillas win! Yay! Salad wins! Yay! Pretzels win! Yay! Yogurt wins! Yay! Ooh, that one's close. 51 to 49. Thanks for picking our lunch today. What do you pick? Gummies or Teddy Grahams? Uh, gummies. <laughs> Now, if you're not already following us on Instagram, I totally invite you to. We love doing these Instagram decides our day type challenges all the time. So definitely go over and follow us on Instagram. So here we have the quesadillas, the salad, the gogurt simples. I added some pretzels as well. These ones are from Disneyland, so they were a little bit old, but I wanted to see if the kids would still eat them. So just put a couple in there. And finally, the gummies, also known as fruit snacks. I know Lily is super excited about these. And then I also added in some fruit as well, just some red seedless grapes. And that's a very good looking lunch today. So today's lunch went over really well. The kids especially love the quesadillas. However, if I put anything other than cheese in Lily's quesadilla, she usually won't eat it. She's just a plain cheese girl. No meat, no spices, just cheese. But I do have to say those pretzels were a little bit too old and nobody really wanted to eat them. And of course, they were super excited about the gummies. They love those gummies. They're definitely a treat around our house. They don't have them all the time. Now for today's activity, Lily just chose to stay home and play. We haven't really been playing outside a lot recently because where we're at in California, there's a lot of wildfires nearby and so it's very smoky outside. So on this day, the kids just played in their rooms. And finally, the mystery wheel chose Lily. She was super excited about this day. And interestingly enough, she chose all round foods. I'm not sure if she planned that or not, but we started by cooking some veggie bites. These have onions and kale and sweet potato, broccoli. They're really tasty. I like to cook these up in the air fryer. They get nice and crispy, but you don't need any oil. Lily also chose some watermelon. I used my melon baller to make the watermelon extra fun, and I did go ahead and put it on a stick as well. So I started by giving the kids just a few of these veggie tots and then I definitely had more if they wanted. I also gave them ketchup if they wanted to dip it in there. Lily also chose a yogurt. This is the vanilla flavor. Now she also chose some frozen grapes. Lily loves to eat frozen fruit. It is a very cool treat. Today's lunch was a really big hit. Even Griffin decided he needed to have some as well. I really think it's a great idea to have the kids take turn picking their own lunch because when they pick it themselves, they're definitely more excited to actually eat it. Lily also decided that dipping her watermelon in her yogurt was super yummy. After lunch, Lily chose to play the game Googly Eyes, which we've never played before. Now you can tell by the look of this box that Griffin had been trying to open it. He kind of tore the box wide open. Basically, this is a board game that includes glasses that make it really hard for you to see. And then you're trying to draw a picture that the other person can guess what it is. It was definitely challenging, but the kids enjoyed it. And it was really funny to see them with the glasses on. Look at Lily, she's such a good artist. It's a Lion King. I can tell because it has a mane. <laughs> Yay, Google it! 
Now it's Jackson's turn to spin. Here I go. Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Can you pick our lunch today? Uh huh. Mhm. Mm what can be our treat? Okay. Bye. So Grandma told Jackson that we should have spaghetti, but we actually didn't have any spaghetti. So instead, I took these out of the freezer. These are beef franks in a blanket, just like pigs in a blanket, but these are actually really good. These taste way better than when I make them. Now last time when I made pigs in a blanket, so many of you told me that in other parts of the world, pigs in a blanket means something totally different, so that was really interesting. To go along with this, we also have some blueberries. And these are actually frozen blueberries, so Lily will be happy with that. We also have some Teddy Graham cookies. These are like a graham cookie. And for our vegetables, we have carrots, but I only had the shredded kind, so we went with that. I also included a string cheese and some apple juice. This apple juice looks like an applesauce pouch, but it's actually juice. It's not something we've ever tried before, but I was excited because there was a Mickey on it. Out of everything in today's lunch, the kids really enjoy the pigs in a blanket and they really like the juice as well. That's not something that we have all the time, but I do have to say it was a little bit messy. They're used to really squeezing those pouches, but when it's juice in there, you have to be careful. After lunch today, Mackenzie and I went to the movies. We wanted to see the new Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin movie, but the younger kids weren't really that interested, so they stayed home and played. I thought it was a really good movie though.